I gotta show you how to make these wireframe mushrooms and eventually an optical illusion mushroom which has a psychedelic vibe to it here in Illustrator. So the trick is simple, all I need to do is go to the fill and stroke, click on the fill, click on the non, click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. Let's change up the colors, go to swatches, I gotta go with some light grey, select the circle, create a circle, press and hold shift to make it perfect. And let's go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics, and let's go to the revolve classic. This is going to revolve the circle into a donut. And we're going to change the surface from plastic surface to wireframe. And this way is going to be transparent. I'm also going to increase the offset. So here it is going to open up the center. As you can see, it's not working live. So I'm going to click on the angle and it's going to do the job now. Click OK and we are gonna make a mushroom out of this. So if you go to the right side of the circle here, you can see this little dot. And if I pull my mouse on it, you can see under the arrow of the mouse, a Pac-Man circle there. So if you drag that and try to pull it down, it is going to open up the circle. So I want to open up something like this. And now I gotta go and select the direct selection tool. And I'm gonna go and select this path, click on it, select it and go here to the corner and convert select anchor point to smooth, click on it and it's going to make it curvy. And I'm gonna select this anchor point as well, click on it and convert it and also this one. There you go. And now all you need to do is drag these anchor points in order to make a proper mushroom. Drag the handle of the path. So we're gonna make it more curvy and more nice looking. Let me customize it real quick. And I gotta make the bottom part longer. Look how cool this is. And I'm gonna bring the top part more in. Now we get a proper mushroom here. All right, I got another mushroom here. And now we're gonna create the optical illusion mushroom. Let's go to the swatches, select the black, select the rectangle and create a rectangle like this. Press and hold alt, drag it down until it intersects. Let's go to the swatches, select the white, select both shapes, press and hold alt, drag it down until they intersect right here. Press control D to duplicate and it's going to create a lot of copies. Select all of it, a right click group. Let's go to the symbols. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and let's go down, select symbols and select the pattern that you created, drag it into the symbols, click OK, delete the pattern, select the mushroom and let's go back here to the appearance and you can see here the 3D Revolve Classic, click on it and we're going to change the wireframe to diffuse shading, click on map art here and as you can see up here we got two sides, go to the symbols here and from none I got to change it to the new symbol that we created and click on scale to fit. So as you can see this is the interior part, now I got to go here, click on next, two of two, Select the symbol, scale to fit, and there you go. Now you also can correct this problem. You can go back to the first one, for example, and you can select here this one and just reposition it until it's going to match. You can also drag it from the bottom or push it, and there you go. Click OK, click OK. And this is how I work with the good old classic revolve tool here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.